So, okay, uh, we'll be getting into today's lecture directly. So, in today's lecture, we'll be uh, seeing about two important uh, things. So, Baron, we seeing about uh, the SAG calculation. Okay, SAG calculation will be seen followed by. Uh, Followed by SAG calculation itself, you'll be seeing about the same levels and at the different levels you'll be seeing. So before getting into the SAG topic, you have to know about what is a SAG. Okay, so SAG na inna abdinga concept you have to get into it. So that is SAG is nothing but uh, uh, when there is uh, can take a transmission tower. Okay, so here is one transmission tower and here is one transmission tower. Okay, so you you might uh, have known. Right, uh, that is uh, the, the distance between two transmission towers will be of some distance. Okay. The two transmission line will be separated by a small distance length. So, based upon this length only, we will be classifying the transmission line into short, medium, and then long. Okay, so based upon this length, we will be classifying it. And now, what we'll be seeing is, we'll be seeing about SAG. So SAG is nothing but uh, the, it's a concept wherein it is a distance between the two towers, okay? So that is, uh, you can take this as a tower A and tower B. These two towers will be connected by the transmission line, uh, line one, okay? Uh, you, you might have seen that is if the render tower on the connect one of the path you won't be getting any kind of stiff line like this the transmission line won't be like this pattern okay so it won't be in a stiff pattern it won't be connected in a stiff pattern so there will be some slight uh, uh, downward uh, position of the uh, transmission line so this part is called as sag okay so this part is called as a sag i hope uh, you are clear with the sag sag na enna ngiradhu vandu inga purinjikkena nenikiren so it is nothing but the distance okay this distance okay that is a, it won't be of a straight line the transmission line won't be of a straight line okay it will be displaced downward in this fashion and this difference from the center point to the displaced downward is called as a sag. Okay. So how they are saying means sag is the distance between the lowest point of the transmission line. Okay. So this is your lowest point. So this point is your lowest point, lowest point of the transmission line to the point at which transmission line is connected to the tower so to the point at which transmission line is connected to the tower is nothing but this point okay so just a difference in distance okay so this distance is called as a sag okay i hope uh, you're getting it so this sag can be calculated for three different areas okay this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one the first one is when both the towers are at the same level okay here you can see this is your ground level so here you can see the both the towers are at the same level so similarly the second one is at the different level support so for the different level support the tower a will be like this and tower b will be like this it will be somewhat in a higher position okay and the next one is the effect of rain and ice what happens uh, when the rain and the ice uh, affect the transmission line what happens to this sag will be seen okay so with the respect to these three parameters you can Calculate the sag. So first thing, what we'll be seeing is we'll be seeing at the same level support. Okay, so when the both the things are at the same level. So now we can uh, get it uh, clear. So this is tower one, this is tower two, and this is ground level. So here, both the things are at your same. 
both the things are at your same level both the towers are at your same level so here p1 is the highest point of the tower 1 and p2 is the highest point of the tower 2 and this p1 p2 is nothing but the conducting or nothing but the conductor okay so it is a conductor and the conductor will possess some weight okay p1 p2 will possess some weight and it is uh, weight of the conductor is uh, for per unit length so here we are taking for a unit length your weight will be w so here o point so this o point is your this o point is your lowest point okay so now we have to find this s so s is your sag this is your sag you have to go find this sag okay so here s is nothing but we are representing mathematically okay so the o o we are taking as uh, here it is the o okay and now we are taking for a small distance x okay so small distance is nothing but your x okay now we can say small distance x so here we are seeing means first will be similar to your inductance value first will be uh, calculating for your small distance uh, x and then finally we will be multiplying for your entire distance so like that it goes okay uh, so how it uh, happens means so here you have to know another one t not so this t not is nothing but the tension so tension is nothing but similar to your force this t not is the thing with the force which is acting horizontally okay so it is not acting vertically so it is acting horizontally here you can see so this is a horizontal force or the tension okay so now another one what you have to know is here you are getting on small triangular structure so this you can take it as a o means so here for distance x you can take the displacement from here like this so this is p okay this is p and this is your y value small y okay so here you can see and now we are taking you have to consider this triangle this triangle you have to consider and from this triangle you have to make this as a theta okay and now you have to put for tan theta okay so if you putting for tan theta means so it will be like this okay it will be your lowest point o and here it will be your here be uh, your uh, point uh, p at lay your point p this is your x okay and now and this will be your theta p1 p2 so now tan theta is nothing but nothing but you are so this will be your y so opposite side by adjacent side so it will be dy by dx so it will be your first equation that's what we are getting over here so next coming to the another one part that is your this side uh, your tension side right here we having t not right so we'll be having t not and this t not how we can take it out means it will be w is by t na so here w is nothing but the weight of the conductor per unit length so this weight will be acting in a vertical format so it will be ws so it will be ws this will be t not and again here also it will be theta so now your tan theta will be ws that is the weight divided by your tension Okay. so if you are applying here and means it is nothing but your uh, opposite side by your adjacent side so from a simple point itself we are taking out uh, nearly two equations okay nearly two equations you are uh, taking and over here this d square is equal to dx square plus dy square so this where you are taking means from here 
it is a change in distance okay so now what i have to do is you have to divide the equation 2 by dx square so then you will be getting by doing means you'll be getting tx square by dx square so this one this one gets cancelled out become one by dx square okay so we'll be getting this kind of the equation four so here from the equation uh, three and one so here it is equal to tan theta and here it is equal to tan theta so what you can write is your dy by dx is equal to w s by t naught you can write okay so after this this fourth equation you have to find the value of this one ds by dx so you just what you have to do is you have to keep your ds by dx same and you have to bring the square to over here so you'll be getting the root and this dy by dx is replaced with ws by t now okay so it is just replaced and you have to uh, alternately arrange the uh, parameters so ds you bring that side dx you have this side and now you have to take integration so both are at the differentiated uh, terms so you have to take uh, integration so if you're taking integration means what happens so dx by so this is another formula okay so you might have uh, seen in your uh, math mathematics okay it will gone through your uh, max so in the max you might have seen so that is integration of dx by root of 1 plus x square a square equal to 1 by a sine h inverse of ax okay so this is the formula so as per the formula you have to substitute for your uh, uh, x a values so you'll be getting equation like this okay so now we have to rewrite this so this t naught will be getting to the numerator so t naught by w sin h inverse w s by t naught so here the value of s will be equal to uh, sorry okay still you have to bring this to this terms over here okay so what we'll be getting is wx by t naught sin h inverse ws by t naught okay so now we have to find your s value okay s is nothing but the sag okay this s value only we need so s value you keep this side and other things you get to that side so we'll be getting t naught by w sin h wx by t naught okay so this is what you'll be getting and now what you have to do is you have to substitute the value of this s so the value of s what we have got is from over here okay from over here you can uh, take the value of s sorry from here from here you can take the value of s okay so if you're taking means so yes we have uh, Nothing but dy by ds is equal to ws by t naught. Okay, and now we have to multiply and divide by w by t naught. So t naught t naught will be getting cancelled out. So you, now we need the value of y. So dy you keep it this side, dx you go take it out that side, and you have to integrate it. Okay, so this integration uh, will be getting a constant a. Okay, we have to find the value of this a also so for finding the value of a what you have to do is you have to put the initial value the initial value theorem you already know similar to that uh, initially you have to find the value of y naught so sine h we are uh, integrating means you'll be getting cos h w x by t naught and then this value is a constant so this this constant will be going to the denominator And after that, as I said, you have to find the value of a. So you have to put the initial values. So the initial values are s is equal to zero, x comma y equal to zero. Okay. So if you're putting means, you'll be getting the a value as minus t naught by w. 
So you have to substitute in the y equation. So y value we have got it. Okay. So here the common term is uh, t naught by w, and this will be your common term. Okay. So now what you have to do is that you have to expand this value. You have to expand this value. So here cos h x expansion what you'll be getting is you'll be getting 1 by x square by 2 integral so this 2 integral is uh, uh, so I think, sorry 2 factorial just a factorial so here the x square, uh, square value is nothing but w x square so the w will also get squared value so already here there's one minus one here there's one plus one so these two get cancelled out so finally you have to neglect the higher order terms so oh, yeah, neglecting the higher order terms means the higher order terms will be of uh, 0, 0.0 something. Okay, so if you are squaring it out, you will be getting 0 0.0000000 like that it was. So it won't be having any kind of effect in this equation. So if you are doing that, means you will be getting T naught by W. Okay, so this is the equation we will be getting. W that is the first part. This first part you will be getting. So this one and one minus one got cancelled out. Okay, so this alone will be getting. So the two will be there because two factorial is nothing but one into two. Okay, so finally y will be getting as w x square by two t naught. So this y is for a single that is small value. Okay, now for the entire transmission line, it is of yes. Okay, this is for your entire transmission line so what you have to do is you have to multiply replace this x by l by 2 okay so l is your span length so if you replacing means the final sag value what you'll be getting is s is equal to w l square by 8 to t naught so this is the final sag equation when it is of same level and the ground level is of same okay that you have to take it to account okay so it is a small derivation but it's a very important derivation you have to know uh, in case of uh, one mark uh, you have to know this equation very very important this equation is very very important so next is about uh, calculation of tension so this is not uh, that much important because uh, uh, sag is what uh, very important here uh, the tension uh, what we have already calculated will be repeating again okay you just see through it so here the t naught over here is the horizontal tension so again at this point you'll be taking two tensions this tx and then tw so this tx will be equal to the horizontal tension t naught and ty is your vertical so it is your horizontal and this is your vertical so vertical is nothing but your weight Okay, the weight what we are taking so the final value of the tension will be t equal to t naught w into s so this is the difference okay, for the entire tension okay so this s value is the same s value what we have calculated over here okay. so next is for your different levels of supports okay when there are two levels of supports, we will be seeing with that and uh, we'll just uh, closing it out. Okay. So when there are more uh, two levels of support, what happens is that? So here you can take this is uh, your tower 1A, this is uh, your tower B. Okay. So here you can see the height, the height of the two towers are different. Okay, so this is your H1 and this is your H2. Okay, so the difference itself uh, causes a very, uh, very much effect over the transmission line because a transmission line having uh, the same level and another one if it is having at the different level means you can just check out to the SAG. So here the SAG will be of a very high value. Okay. So here, similar to that, there will be two values. Okay, so we have uh, first taken with the right side and then the left side. So here also you have to take like that. Okay, so here for the first transmission line, 
the sag is your s1 okay so it is from your tower a to the lowest point okay so next for the sag 2 it is nothing but the tower b okay tower b to the lowest point so it is your it is your sag 2 okay so now the entire length is your capital l and the difference from uh, tower a to the lowest point is x1 difference from your uh, tower b to uh, lowest point is x2 okay so now we have to get into the point so the y what we have calculated in the previous one you have to take so why we have calculated for small value okay we didn't take into account the entire length okay so for a small value y equal to w x square by 2 t naught and now we are replacing this y with the sag one so s1 if we are replacing means we will be getting w x1 square by 2 t naught and s2 if you are replacing means s2 equal to w x2 square by 2 t naught So this you have to know. So we know that uh, two heights, H1, you know, H2, you know. Okay. Now we have to know the difference in the, the sag. So the difference in sag is nothing but S1 minus S2 is equal to the height. Okay, H. And now we have to substitute both the values over here. So for the uh, S2, so which value is your higher? So you might have seen in the diagram, if your tower A is uh, greater than tower B means you have to bring your tower. Uh, uh b sag value first otherwise you have to bring your tag uh, tower uh, a sag value first okay so here the tower b value is high so you have to bring s2 first so s2 is brought first minus of s1 equal to height and now you have to take the common term so wt 2t naught is a common so it is taken out and now x2 square minus x1 square equal to h so in this one you have to apply a square minus b square so this is equal to a minus b and then a plus b so if you apply this you'll be getting this and after this x2 plus x1 is nothing but your l so it is your l value so l value is taken out now you have to go for your two equation two unknown method okay so x2 minus x1 you'll be getting one equation it is a constant it is a constant and already you know another one equation x1 plus x2 you already know it's also equal to l which is a constant so you got two equation two unknowns so now we can easily find x2 and x1 so you just add these two things so x1 and x1 gets cancelled out so it will be 2x2 l plus this constant value so now what we'll be doing is x2 equal to uh, you have to keep the x2 over here and you have to bring the 2 to the denominator value okay denominator if you are bringing means l by 2 plus h t naught by w so x2 now we have got now next another one we need x1 so put your x1 plus x2 equal to l so put the value of x2 over here you'll be getting x1 plus so x2 you can bring it over there so l minus x2 so you'll be getting l minus of l by 2 plus h t naught by w into l so l minus l by 2 okay so that is 1 minus 1 by 2 so you'll be getting l by 2 minus h t naught by so here it is in bracket so it should become minus okay by omega into sorry, w into l so these are the things of your x1 and x2. So now if you are putting this x1 and x2 value in your s1 and s2 means you can get the sags for the different levels. Okay. So from this uh, an anonymity point of view, the important questions uh, what they might be asking is give the expression for sag at the same level, give the expression for sag at different levels. So apart from this, they will be asking problems. So you have to know the formulas. 
So by knowing the formula means you have to can directly substitute the equations. Okay. So it is a very very important uh, topic. So go through this topic uh, and uh, if you having any doubt.